all right so let's talk about APM in these tutorial series. Uh, basically, before we start with APM, we should be knowing what exactly APM is and what all it can do. APM is uh, based on open source technology itself. It's an open source test automation framework, which is uh, used for automating native, hybrid, and uh, web app of a mobile phone. Uh, APM is specially designed to automate iOS application and it has a uh, good support for Android apps as well right so you can use uh, real simulators iPhone simulators iPad simulators or you can even use uh, Android emulators right and you can test your uh, native or hybrid app over there even uh, you can uh, like uh, connect your real mobile devices for iPhone and Android and you can see the execution uh, the automation of your uh, app on those platforms as well right so uh, we'll very quickly see uh, what all APM can do. I'm going to show you some live examples, right? There, there are two ways you can download APM. One, it can be downloaded from uh, this button over here. And the other one can be downloaded, uh, the setup process they have provided over here, right? I'm going to talk about the detailed installation of APM in the next module, right? Here uh, you can see I, uh, APM is uh, the requirement for APM is uh, you need to have uh, for iOS uh, that can only be done on on a Mac with OS X specially installed. If you see over here, uh, I am on a Mac right now with the word with OS X and the version 10.9.2, right? And Android can be tested on a Windows machine as well, but it has a beta support. APM has a beta support for Windows. So especially if you are on a Mac, then uh, you're not going to face much issues. Uh, the automation will go very smoothly, right? So these are the two ways you can uh, actually configure APM. And now uh, we're going to see uh, how APM exactly works. So uh, I have created a step-by-step -step guide uh, for installing APM on OS X, right? And a couple of things that we need before we uh, install APM. So all these things are mentioned in this guide, which I'm going to talk in, in the next tutorial, right? So uh, let's go back to Eclipse. Uh, this is the same Eclipse, the SDK that we have uh, used when uh, uh, I have shown you a demo on Selendroid, right? So the same uh, I'm going to use over here. So first I'm going to show you how uh, we can uh, test uh, a hybrid app on an I iPhone simulator. So what I'll do, I'll just execute this code uh, through JUnit. I'll say run as JUnit and I'll select JUnit launcher from here. And in a couple of seconds, uh, okay, it, it it crashed. Uh, let me see the reason why it crashed. Okay, uh, before I execute this, I need to start APM uh, on my machine. So how I can start it? I can go to the terminal and just write APM. And APM is started on on the port four seven two three. By default, it starts on this port, but we can change the port as well. So we'll talk about that later on. I'll first execute the code. I'll say run as J unit test, and in a couple of seconds, you're gonna see uh, an iPhone simulator will show up. It's it's over here, right? And the hybrid app will open up over here see it has entered email and comments now it see it it swiped down and then up and then it clicked on the send button that you can see over here and this is the comment that's been printed so it's basically uh, you can see it's a hybrid is a combination of web and a native app right so over here uh, this is actually a web view so you can see the html code that's been printed over here which will actually going to help you in locating elements uh, when you are uh, especially working on a web view right so this is one of the hybrid tests now i'm going to show you another test uh, that is uh, a web app basically we are talking about a safari browser over here 
I'm going to show you how we can open up Safari browser in an iPhone uh, emulator. So I'll again close this one and right click run as uh, Java application. And again in couple of seconds the simulator will show up and this time you're going to see the, the Safari browser shows up and it's going to Google it will type hello APM and then it will gonna extract all the links from this page you can see the last link use google.com so if I navigate down and over here the last link is use google.com so it has actually extracted all the links so this is a web based uh, web app you can say so we have tested a web app on iPhone simulator. We're going to see details uh, on testing each and every app in, in these tutorial series, right? So it will give us a very handful experience, uh, very good exposure to this API, how we can use uh, uh, like mobile automation testing using APM on all these native hybrid and web apps on iPhone as well as on Android, right? So next example, I'm going to show it for uh, Android. So over here, uh, what I'll do when I run this code, uh, it will actually going to open up a standalone, a native app on, okay. I think the server was already running. Okay, now let me run it again. So when I execute this, I have uh, an emulator. This is an Android emulator over here. So in a couple of seconds, uh, you're going to see, let me open up the terminal so that you can see uh, the execution from here. So it's talking to this emulator and it is actually installing the app on this emulator. So in, in a couple of seconds, uh, you can see this app over here, right? It's, it's typing cell Android, clicked on the Chrome icon gone to the next page click on this tab selected the form page and then inside this it should type something and click on hello there and then it will go to do a back to the home screen so this is the entire test you can see again this test is combination of native and hybrid because web web view is also uh, available in this as well as the native elements are also available in this right so this is how the everything was done with the help of APM itself right and now another thing I want to show in APM I've started the APM from here right now I'm gonna close the APM I'll close it now and I'm gonna run the APM from the UI tool itself so this is one of the UI tool that's been provided by APM, right? If I launch this application from here, and if I again run the code, so run as J unit test. So this time, I'm going to show you something else. See the logs are being coming from here. And as soon as the application shows up, okay, it's here. Now there is something uh, with an icon I over here. This is basically an APM inspector. If you click on this, okay, right now, okay, I need to started with some other way so there are two ways of starting there are different ways of starting these apm inspector for android as well as for ios i've configured it for ios so what i'll go and do uh, i'll stop this and i'll stop this and i'm gonna make the changes as per uh, okay i need to start it for the android one then I'll launch it again. <clears throat> and I'll run the code again. So 
So it failed because I it didn't select the Android option from here. So we have two options. Either I can select iOS or I can select Android. Let's see. Again, it is giving me some error. Just give me a moment. Let me fix it. It's actually configured for iOS. So what I need to do, I'll uh, go to the preferences and check this and then I'll launch it again. So what it will do, it will bring up my app over here this time. And now it is actually relaunching that. Right. And now if you open this inspector, this will not show up. And you're gonna show you're gonna get the view of your app over here. So if you select this, you're gonna see the property over here. All these properties. This is the XPath, this is the ID, right? And it, it has got a very good record and play feature as well. So once you click on record, you can see your script over here. Right. So I'm going to talk about uh, the record and play. We're going to do something with record and play as well. You're going, you can tap, you can swipe, you can enter some text. There, there are many things uh, given with this record and play tool as well. This is, in fact, a very good tool um, I found with uh, APM Inspector. Right. So I'm going to talk about uh, this APM Inspector as well. We have a whole big chapter on this APM Inspector as well in uh, upcoming tutorials. So this is what uh, these things are really possible and these things are really attract attractive when you work with APM, right? So that's all we're going to uh, discuss about uh, APM in this small demo and I will, uh, I'm going to see you guys uh, in, in the next tutorial session, alright?